Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to another episode of Monitoring My Beauty Purchases. So this is where I sit down and talk about the purchases, um, beauty purchases, that I made in the previous month and why I chose to buy them. And I am here to tell you that, like last month, I didn't buy anything. Well, actually, no, that's a little bit of a lie. I did buy one thing, but I don't have it with me here, so historically um, if I purchase something in the month and I don't actually have it in my hot little hands until the next month I don't talk about it until the next month so next month I'll definitely have something to talk about um, but this month no I didn't buy anything and I'm uh, I'm okay with that um, it, I'm not really in this headspace of no buy don't buy makeup don't spend money that's definitely not the case um, I've been spending money. <laughs> so every month, um, I, I'm i pretty big into budgeting. I love it. I just, mm, money management makes me fucking happy. Um, so every month, I actually set aside like a certain amount of money for beauty related purchases. And if I don't spend the money, then I just roll it over. It basically sits in a high interest bank account um and you know it just kind of sits in a savings account um and instead of buying makeup i've actually been spending money on freya mostly um you know buying her lots of toys and getting her sort of established uh in the home with all of the things that she needs so that's been an expense um and i guess i've been sort of allocating some of my makeup money to that because um you know it's just sitting there and i'm not going to spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on um makeup at this point because there's not really anything that i want i do have plans to meet madeline tomorrow evening so it's currently thursday uh, when I'm filming this, but by the time you see it, um, I think I'll put this up on Sunday. So on Friday, I'm meeting Madeline at Chadston to go and pick up the item that I purchased and, um, we're going to browse the shop. So maybe I will buy more. I find that, um, I'm not really, I'm not going to the shops very much these days because of COVID. It's just like, you know, it's, we're allowed to do that stuff here. Um, we're allowed to go shopping and have a pretty normal life. Um, but I just don't feel like it's a, a necessity. I don't like have any like major drive to go and browse the makeup shops. You can't swatch anything. Um, so I'm kind of like, well, you know, what's the point? Um, and when it comes to online shopping, I'm not really driven to do that these days because there's nothing that's being released where I'm like oh my god I have to buy that like I must get it right now and if I had something like that pop up I would buy it online no questions asked I wouldn't have an issue with that I just haven't come across anything that I'm like oh I really really want that there are a few things that I have kind of on the top of my wish list um, I just haven't gone and got them, I suppose. So I kind of want to pick up, um, pretty much everything from the Fenty skin range and, you know, try it out as a dedicated skincare routine and see what I think about the products because they intrigue me. Um, I also, I think this year will be the year where I buy some Holo Taco stuff. It's kind of, it's a brand that I've wanted to try basically since it launched. The thing that sort of put me off was high shipping, but I think now, and I might just double check this, they have free shipping on international orders of 99 and up US dollars, which is fine. Like, I mean, I would, I could totally order um, 100 US dollars worth of shit off her website. Like, I don't think it would be difficult um, because I want to try like the rainbow bundle. Mm, oh, and they have the always a holiday bundle still, the multi-chrome bundle. Like, 
mm, it would not be difficult for me. Also, I would get some of the glass nail files because I buy them here. So on the website, they're $27 for a pack of three and I buy them here in Australia and depending what brand I buy them from, they usually cost me around 20 bucks anyway. And I, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I have this uncanny ability to break glass nail files by sitting on them. All of the glass nail files that I have owned, I have sat on and broken. And <laughs> it's just not, it's not great. It's not great. So I would totally buy that. Um, and I would, Pretty much, you know, get her top coat, base coat, maybe even like the black and white bundle, which I think has her black color, the white, um, and a top and base in it. There's $39. Oh, it's sold out. What a bugger. But that's okay. It's fine. I would find something else to buy. It's like I could so easily probably even drop like $200 plus dollars, um, on the website and get free shipping so that's something that I want to do I just haven't really like taken the plunge and done it and also I will say um, I've been working quite well <laughs> quite hard on getting my nail polish and nail care uh, products to fit into just one like standard Alex drawer and uh, it took me a little while to get there and by a little while, I mean probably three years. Um, and now everything fits in that one drawer. But the problem is there's no room for anything else. So I kind of have this rule where I'm like, if it doesn't fit, it's not it. And I can't buy it. Uh, so I feel like maybe I need to do like another nail polish declutter before I buy more. But I'd be looking at buying like, I don't know, 10 or 12 or more nail polishes. So... It's just, it's one of those things. I don't want to buy them because I won't have anywhere to store them. But also, I don't want to declutter my nail polish collection again because I kind of like it where it's at. So I guess I'm kind of waiting for something really, really exciting and interesting to, like, pique my curiosity and make me want to buy it immediately um, and it's just not really happening at the moment because I feel like the things that I do want to buy they're the kind of things where I can be like well I can buy them anytime like they're not limited edition they're not gonna sell out and if they do sell out they'll probably come back so why am I going to stress about it there is another silver lining to um, not really being inspired to buy beauty products at the moment but having this like very deep set and long developed habit of setting aside money for these purchases. Um, uh, as the like kitty grows, I'm thinking about other things that I might like to do with it. And usually, you know, in the past, because I've been doing this for a while, um, if I had an excess of money and I was like, well, that's way more than I'm gonna need for buying makeup anytime soon, um, I would like, you know, put it aside for travel or something like that uh, but we're not traveling now so I'm starting to think about other things I would like to do and I've been thinking about having a little greenhouse built in our yard so there's that also another way I've been spending the money is plants I've been you know buying some rarer plants that I really like the look of so you know <laughs> The money is getting spent, it's just not getting spent on the makeup products. And I will say, I am a bit sad that I'm not spending money on makeup products because I love makeup, but I'm so bored by what is being released. I'm just like, I'm not at all inspired. I think the things that are inspiring me uh, not even makeup, like I mentioned, Fenty Skin, Hollow Taco Nail Polishes, like, I'm just not, I need brands to bring out cool shit, I need them to, like, bring out fun, cool shit that makes me want to buy it and put it on my face and try it, and it's just, it's not happening, go tell the brands, go tell them, make something fun and exciting, I'm bored. I am looking forward to going to the shop's tomorrow and having a browse. I'm hoping I'll spot some things that excite me. I definitely think not 
going to the shops as much has played a role in my sort of minimized purchasing. Um, historically, I like to buy things in shops. So, you know, and it's been a while. I think I went in was it October or November. That was the last time that I went. Like, it's been a while. Let me know what you guys think about that. Are you shopping less because you're not going into store as much or are you just shopping it all online now? For me, I only really like to buy things online if I know I can't go into a shop and buy it. So things like Charlotte Tilbury or if I know that I want something from Mac but I don't want to buy it in store here because I can get it cheaper off Selfridges and it'll be delivered to my door in like two or three days. That's a kind of online shopping I'd like to do. But if I can go in store and get something, that's much more like my preferred method of shopping for items. And I think a combination of not really being super, super excited about anything that I'm seeing releasing and not being able to go into shops and be inspired by things in person has just resulted in me not buying anything at all. So I'm going to wrap that up there. Wish me luck for shopping tomorrow, whether that luck be that I find something that excites me and I want to purchase it, or I don't find anything and I don't make more purchases, although I have something to show you anyway because I've already purchased something. Um, but that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye!